the life revolves this way, I guess counterclockwise. So that's when we do different things. That's, there's a there's an intentional reason why we we turn a certain way or we do things in, in a certain way, because you do it in a pattern that fosters life, not not chasing not chasing death. So in that mindset, we're gonna go this way and go our way around. And remember what the this morning's assignment was. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know. I'm gonna try to yeah. keep it short and simple. Um, my assignment was pretty much to listen. Um, we started the walk, and I'm gonna try to keep it short and simple. What I heard was was pretty simple. At times I heard um, some singing, which is common for me out here, woman's voice. Um, singing from here to there. Every once in a while when I hit certain areas, I would hear singing. Um, which normally I hear a male singing. This time I'm hearing a woman singing, which is interesting. Mm. But um, what I did see that's different from this walk, from the other five that we've done, is um, the crow. So the crow was with us a lot. Um, they're highly intelligent. And they were walking and guiding us and kind of following and communicating as we're going down the path, letting the rest of them know that we were coming. The other thing I got was really simple. Um, all the animals um, were kind of introducing or kind of letting me know that they were there. And, um, it, and it wasn't the same type of feeling that I get out here sometimes. Sometimes I'm in tune and sometimes I'm not. It was more of a... They're letting you know they're here, but it was kind of, um, don't forget me. I'm here, don't forget me. And, um, and kind of reminding me of the, the last um, few years of journey, like what I set out to do and what I have done and what I haven't done and what should be done. And that's what I was trying to hear is to say, well, where do I go from here? Um, and what I, the feeling from the animals were kind of like a scare, like, they're so pure and we're we're supposed to evolve and we should be doing the right things and um, our job here that we think we're doing right is buying and building and doing stuff um, getting paper um, is, is not the right job we're letting down the total goal for us to be here is to evolve and then evolving you get to return back home then a part of the ev evolution is to help other species and the birds the birds are, are for me are always so upset at us for lots of things i mean we, we have a history with the bird or two-legged or two-legged or winged and it's the same feeling when we would come they would get worked up they could feel us from a, a, a distance and work up and fly away so the simple message is pretty much a straight message is don't forget me. But it's also that, that purity that they have is still pure. They're letting us all know they're there. And to the point that they knew we were coming, but yet some of us were almost stepping on them because we didn't, weren't really paying attention to them. But they could feel us coming from a far distance, which means that they are truly in tune with everything around them. And we still have a long evolutional way to go to get there so that's it thank you and kashila wakhan tanka wahud maui tiwa wawoki maka ina unchi maka wapila tanka Is walking in nature <clears throat> I walk in nature a lot and nature doesn't act that way for a lot of people you know and like you ever hear of a pep talk well it's like we were giving nature a pep walk you know she was stoked um, the animals were stoked the gators were stoked remember seeing like a hundred gators in like the rocks and in the in the roots, but it wasn't gators. Like I looked again and it was like what? But um 
you know, it's back to what Grandma Betty was saying earlier, is who will stand up for nature. You know, um, she got to see that. You know, and I felt the presence of the Buffalo Nation, too. And I kept hearing the Wakio Yate, the Thunder Being Nation. Even though there wasn't a cloud in the sky, I kept hearing a thunder. And at one point, I heard a woman crying. And I think Betty heard it, too, because at the same time, she stopped to ask if everybody was okay because she thought she heard something. Mm -hmm. But it sounded like a like a sad cry. But I think it's what you were getting at with with the whole please don't forget me. You know? where the only species that just takes and takes and doesn't give anything back. You know, so today was good for nature. As nature saw you, she thinks you. I heard her thanking you, and I thank you too. It's pretty special. Matakli, yes, I'm finished. <laughs> We are all are from nature, and the biggest thing I noticed today, after walking for quite a while, is that all our footprints were headed in the same direction. And as we walked, I thought about that. And hopefully, more people will go in the right direction also. It's, you know, the crunching of the feet, the, the, the alligators, the birds, it's all, all, all great today. 